Okay, so we'll have some rules, so we'll pass them very quickly. So we only practice what we need to remember after grade 12. So we'll not so go deeply. So let's see the product rule. We need the product rule because if I have fx is equal to x minus 3 to the power 4 and gx equal to x plus 2 to the power of 3. To do the product rule, I cannot expand this, so I need a rule which gives me short answers. Therefore, if h is equal to fx times gx, then dh dx will be the derivative of the first function multiplied by the second function plus the derivative of the second function times the first function. So this is or I can use other letters so if or if y equal to u v then dy dx or y prime let's say it's easier to say y prime y prime will be u prime times v plus v prime times u Okay, so this is uh, product rule. Okay, let's say an example. Fine. F prime x if fx equals x plus 2 times minus 2x plus 5. So what we say is f prime x is the derivative of the first one which is 3 times the second function plus the derivative of the second function which is minus 2 times the derivative of the other function 3x plus 2. I can simplify this. 3 times that will be minus 6x plus 15 minus 6x minus 4 minus 12x plus 11. So the derivative A will be minus 12x plus 11. Power of function rule. Okay, this is if I have y equals gx to the power of n. n is positive integer. We'll lose later on with chain rule if n is any number. For now, let's say n is a positive integer. Then dy dx, which is a derivative, will be n gx to the power of n minus 1 times the derivative of inside. This is inside one, this is outer one. So we derive first n, gx, the power of n minus 1, multiplied by the derivative of gx, which is g prime x. 
let's do one example here let's move to examples okay we are given y equals 3x plus 2 to the power of 4 to derive this dy dx will be 4 3x plus 2 which is a power rule to the power of 3 multiplied by the derivative of inside inside is a base here 3x plus 2 what's the derivative of 3x the derivative of 3x is 3 the derivative of 2 is 0 so 3x plus 2 the derivative of 3 so we make it cleaner 4 times 3 is 12 3x plus 2 to the power of 3 and we are done we can do a little bit complicated one y equal to 2x plus 3 to the power of 4 times 3x minus 1 to the power of 5 So, in this case, dy dx will be 4, the derivative of the first one, 2x plus 3 to the power of 3, 4 minus 1, multiplied by the derivative of inside. The derivative of 2x plus 3 is 2. We did not finish the first part. The derivative of the first one multiplied by the second function, 3x minus 1 to the power of 5 plus the derivative of the second one which is 5 3x minus 1 to the power of 4 the derivative of the inside one is 3 times the first function which is 2x plus 3 to the power of 4 so the derivative of the first function multiplied by the second function plus derivative of second function multiplied by the first function now we clean it up equals 4 times 2 is 8 2x plus 3 to the power of 3 3x minus 1 to the power of 5 plus 5 times 3 is 15 3x minus 1 to the power of 4 2x plus 3 to the power of 4 now since we have the same here the same 3x minus 1 3x minus 1 2x plus 3 2x plus 3 we have to take the GCF the GCF between exponents is always the lower exponent it is always the lower exponent so we can say This is equal to GCF between 8 and 15 is 1, so we don't have any GCF. Between this and this will be the lower exponent, which is 2x plus 3 to the power of 3. Between this and this will be the lower exponent, which is 3x minus 1 to the power of 4. So this is GCF. The whole thing is GCF. Then I do square bracket here. So I say what's missing here, which is in the first term here. I don't have 8, so I write 8. 2x plus 3 to the power 3, 2x plus 3 to the power 3, so I don't need any of this. I have only 4 of this, but there are 5, so I'm missing one of this. So 3x minus 1 plus I don't have 15 here so I have to write the 15 3x minus 1 to the power 4 3x minus 1 to the power 4 I have it so I don't need this 2x plus 3 to the power 4 I have extra 1 so 2x plus 3 is equal to Two x plus three to the power of three 
3x minus 1 to the power of 4. I expand this. 8 times 3x is 24x minus 8 plus 3x plus 45. Then I say equals 2x plus 3 to the power 3. 3x minus 1 to the power 4. 24x plus 3x is 54x plus 37. That's done. This is my final answer. So we derive it using the product rule.